Hello! Welcome to OJ Studios! Please enjoy this week's chapter of the birthday party by Olivia Julius! Chapter 5 Sister Issues At school the next day I couldn't help but think about the events of last night. I tried to focus on Mrs. Waters teaching us multiplication. Yet in my mind wandered away for the classroom as I found myself wondering what will happen tonight. Since my mom married my dad, I had never been so excited to be home alone with Bridget. I didn't tell Emily or any of my friends about the events of yesterday. Instead, I watched them talk about the party and talk about the show they always watch on Monday nights. I couldn't decide if I should tell them or if I should wait for party. After school I was surprised when I saw Bridget's beat up Ford Escort in the pickup line in front of the school's entrance. I prayed that I wasn't her, and that I would be able to walk home. But then Mrs. Rash came over and started yelling my name trying to get my attention that my sister indeed did show up. I carefully approach her car as she honks to get my attention. Come on girly we don't have all day! She yells out of her car window loud enough for her to hear her. I sink down red in the face as I looked around for any sign that anyone else heard her referring me as a girl. Luckily, if anyone heard her, they didn't seem to care. I took a deep breath and opened the car's passenger door and sat down with my book bag in my lap. I must have looked nervous because Bridget looked over to me and laughed, while she peeled out of the pickup line. I looked behind us and I could see Mrs. Wise my principal angrily ran into the roadway behind us yelling inaudibly. Probably going to regret that on Thursday! Bridget said watching her through the rearview mirror. I held my book bag tightly as Bridget drove wildly through the streets. Oh! Lighten up Jonah! Bridget said as she dodged a stop to Jeep Wrangler by driving on the shoulder. So, what are we doing? I asked. Mom and Dad need me to go pick up some groceries and I figure that you would want to come too. I looked at Bridget questionably the last time I was invited to go to the store with her she and her boyfriend at the time Lance decided to leave me there shopping as they went to a nearby restraint. Why would I want to come with you? I asked since I would rather go home and be by myself. Because little sis we are heading to the mall where we can pick you up a nice dress for your party. I'm not your little sis! I said in protest. That's not what I saw last night. I stayed quiet. History between us already told me that if I didn't answer I couldn't say anything that won't give Bridget more ammo to use late. Bridget just shrugged and continued to Walmart as I held on to the seat belt for dear life. I only relaxed when we finally made it to the Walmart parking lot. I followed Bridget into the store where she instantly grabbed two carts, rolling one over to me. I took it and looked up to her in question. You go for the groceries, and I'll grab your clothes. Bridget said handing me the grocery list. Wait, why can't you get the groceries? I asked. Fine, Bridget said smiling. You can go buy girly clothes, and I'll go for the food. On second thought, I said bashfully. I'll do the groceries. That's what I thought little sis. Bridget said. As I walked away, I couldn't help but wonder what Bridget would pick out. I was both nervous and I couldn't wait. My attention however came to a halt when I saw her. The one girl I didn't want to see right now but there she was with her mother shopping in the frozen food section of the grocery store. I gulped as I tried to hide. It was Emily.